Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to Tech It with myself, Lewis. I hope you've had a great couple of days and been enjoying the daisy and all that stuff, but today is all about the Tech It. So today is the big one. We're going to finish off Equivalent Exchange. We're going to get down with the Mighty Gem Armor, which is going to be amazing. So the first thing we need to do today is... Uh, shut my door quickly. Basically, we need to make each part individually, and I'm going to show them off one by one after that. So we're going to start with the Abyss Helmet, because every part of the gem armor actually has its own like individual name. If you've ever searched for it on too many items, then you might find it a little bit hard to kind of find it, because you can't just put in gem armor. Um, you have to search for each piece individually. So we need the Abyss Helmet. So for this, we're going to need a few bits and bobs. We're going to need an Evertide Amulet and a Soul Stone. And we also need what's in here. Unlimited power. <laughs> Here they are, the Klein Star Omegas. You have no idea how long it's taken me to do these. I even did my own Klein Star, but I really could not be bothered at the end of it to get it fully charged. It just takes so long. There's so much EMC in each one of those. It's, it's amazing. So, but I've got enough for all of these, and these will be consumed in the final product. So, we're going to start by taking one amazing Klein Star Omega. And then we're going to move on. So we need a Evertide Amulet. So to make one of these, we need some buckets of water. We need six buckets of water. So let's get on, do this first. And uh, then, then we'll get the next bits, I guess. So it's always handy having like a uh, lake outside your house, I guess. Let's make, uh, even if it is like populated with the uh, largest amount of squid in the world. Oh, there we go. Three. Let's grab the rest. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Loads, loads of good stuff. All right, so we got that. Now we need some dark matter. Now, uh, I've actually been in the middle of uh, collecting. Oh, no. What is going on? This is not meant to happen. There we go. <laughs> oh, I thought it was all over straight away. I'm going to click on this. Actually. Right, so we need some dark matter. So I've been collecting away throughout the whole really series of this to be honest you've never really seen me go up there I've just been collecting and collecting and bearing in mind this isn't on a server this is uh, hosted from my computer um, there's uh, it's, it's actually only running when I'm on tech it so that has accumulated throughout the series there you go isn't that sentimental <laughs> so what we need to do this is uh, we need um, let's get onto this bad boy you put your dark matter like so, and your buckets all around it, and this should give us the Evertide Amulet. There we go, one Evertide Amulet, beautiful. And uh, we can we can throw all our buckets back in here because we don't we don't need them anymore. Here we go, bucket, bucket, bucket. Nice. So there's that. Now we need a Soul Stone. So a Soul Stone we actually made in the last episode uh, with the Body Stone and uh, all the other good bits and bobs as well. So for this one we need uh, we need some red matter and uh, I think I've got yeah I've got loads of EMC. Here. So let's take two bits of red matter and we need some lapis and we need some glowstone uh, and that's it. So uh, how this one goes is uh, you put a little bit of lapis in the middle like so, red matter and glowstone. Excellent. There we go. So those are the two power items of this one. Now bear in mind when you're making the um, gem armor for all the bits, the only things that it gives you back is the amulet. So if I'm right in saying so, it should give me back with the Evertide amulet. Because that's actually one that I haven't got on me at the minute. Uh, I think we made that in the uh, when I was on the last actual server, and that kind of went a bit, went a bit haywire. So let's get our uh, Evertide. Let's get our bits and bobs out. So uh, Abyss helmet. So we're gonna need the helmet. We're going to need the Omega and all the bits and bobs. So, here we go. Let's see if this works. So, Red Matter Helmet, number one. Klein Star Omega. Uh, Evertide Amulet. And Soul Stone. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Abyss Helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got Evertide Amulet back. Nice. Good times. So, let's put this back in it. So, that's one part. Oh, this is going to take so long. And uh, we'll put the Amulet back in here as well. We'll put it up here so I don't forget about it. Now, the next thing is the Greaves. So let's make the uh, the Greaves, the Gravity Greaves, which sound awesome. So we need these. We need a, another Omega. Now, bear in mind, the Omegas have to be fully charged for this to work as well. So that is a, a hell of a lot of EMC. I think altogether, this whole thing is worth something like... Three, I looked it up earlier. It's 317 million, 397,830 397, EMC. That is a hell of a lot of, our, of, of EMC. I've only got 28 in here. You need like 300 something to do the whole thing. This is this is amazing. So, alright. Red Greaves. Omega. 
now we need to make a gem of eternal density for this next one which we've made before but I haven't got me because we used it to make some other bits and bobs so we need some diamond let's just grab this take some diamonds we need some obsidian like so and well else do we need some dark matter which I've got on me at the minute so the recipe for this one should look a little bit like this so you put your uh, dark matter on the sides like so and then you put diamonds like this uh -huh, and obsidian and we get a gem of eternal density beautiful and this can go back in here for the time being there we go now uh, what else do we need? we need a watch of flowing time so I've actually got one of these right here um, yeah so uh, we don't need to build another one of those um, I'm gonna I'll show you the uh, recipe for it anyway so that's the recipe for it there we have made it before it's in one of the other episodes so there you go now um, let's, let's do this let's do this I'm so hyped to make all this stuff and show it off it's gonna be amazing so we need to put the uh, greaves up here we need to put a Omega just around her we need the gem of eternal density here and the watcher flowing time and we have gravity groups yeah right so next one infernal armor so here we go now uh, we'll grab the armor grab a another piece of unlimited power and what else do we need we need uh, we've got the mega we've got the armor we need a vulcanite amulet and a body stone so I have a vulcanite amulet here it is and uh, for all intensive purposes, the recipe looks a little bit like that. So lava buckets with dark matter. Basically the same as the Evertide amulet, it said you use lava instead of water buckets. All right, so we need to make a body stone. So to make a body stone, we need uh, some lapis again. Uh, where do I put my lapis? There it is. We need one little chunk of lapis. We need another two red matter, like so. And we need some sugar. So have I got any sugar cane on me? Yes, I have got some sugar cane on me. And uh, we probably need a little more as well, so let's take a few of these. There we go. Very nice. Now let's turn this into sugar. There we go. And look at that! I shift clicked! Yeah! <laughs> I remember the amount of you guys have been going mental because I've been shift clicking. I do know how to shift click. I just find it funny when you guys go mental about it. So there you go. You've seen me do it. I shift clicked for the first time in ever. Um, right, so... Uh, sugar, right, we've got it, we're good. So, uh, recipe time. Oh, turn the ground. So, lapis, red matter, and sugar. Oh, a bit too many of that. There we go. Body stone. So let's put this back in here. Nice. So, this one is going to be the uh, Omega, like so. We're going to put the uh, red matter armor up here, and we're going to put a body stone here and a vulcanite amulet, and we get the infernal armor. So we are uh, we're uh, one quarter left, and uh, this is going to be amazing. So we need red matter boots. So we're going to turn these into hurricane boots. So for hurricane boots, we need two swift wolf rending gales, which is pretty insane. And we also need the unlimited power as well, evidently. So for this, we're going to need some feathers, and we need quite a few of them. So let's go and uh, grab some feathers. I'm going to uh, actually can I just make them in here. I can probably make them in here. I'll probably remember them. Uh, feathers, feathers. There we go. Very nice. Let's just take tons of feathers. All the feathers that we need. There we go. So we need feathers. We need some uh, dark matter, which we have tons of anyway. And uh, we need a iron band. Now we've got a Vulcanite amulet, which is excellent. So let's grab some iron. Uh, iron. There we go. And uh, where's the Vulcanite? There it is. So let's uh, do this. So Vulcanite amulet and iron. There we go. One iron band. Very easy. And pop this back in here. There we go. So, recipe wise, now we're uh, actually, no, forget about that. We need two of these, don't we? We need to build two. So, I'll, I'll make another one of these quickly. So, Vulcanite Amulet again. Throw this all around it. Beautiful. Another iron band. This can pop back in here. Very nice. So, iron band in the middle. And uh, we need to put dark matter around the uh, sides, like so. And uh, we'll put two lots because we're making two of these. And feathers. There we go. One, two, beautiful. Right, I'm gonna turn it back to daytime as well. There we go. Right, so the uh, recipe for this one, for the uh, amazing hurricane boots, is red boots, Klein Star Omega, and two Swift Wolf Rending Gales. 
Oh, no. Uh, what is going on? Why is this one not working? Is this not fully charged? Let's just make sure this one's fully charged. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't fully charged. Oh, I was worrying then. Oh. Uh, right, so uh, there's all that. So, uh, what have I done with those? Have they popped into here again? Yeah, there they are. Oh, almost on meltdown. So, red boots, Klein Star, and. Oh, they've gone into there as well, haven't they? Where are you? There they are. Right, let's try this again. Boots, Omega. Hey, Hurricane Boots. The uh, amazing Hurricane Boots. Right, so I'm going to throw this in here. I'm going to throw all this junk away so I'm uh, nice and clean and tidy. Uh, let's put these in here. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so let's uh, try this on. Oh, this looks... At oh, no graphics. Bad times. <laughs> oh, oh that's kind of make up for it, though. Beautiful. Look at me. Oh, I look like a goddess. Sexy goddess. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so let's get on with uh, actually using these, shall we? Okay, right, so we're outside, and I'm going to show you guys how amazing this armor is. I've got it all on, we're looking amazing, and uh, let's uh, get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? So, you have three different types of mode when it comes to this here. You have the innate, the offensive, and the movement. Now, all these can be changed around by pushing V and G. So, if you push V, you can see it's disabled. I can activate it by pushing V again, and G for the same one. So what we're going to do is we're going to have everything active and I'm going to show you one at a time what all the bits and bobs do. So innate is kind of the stuff that happens uh, behind the scenes. They're not things that you control, it just kind of does it. So for instance, the helmet allows you to breathe underwater. The armor is makes you invulnerable to fire and lava, so you haven't got to worry about any of that. Uh, and the greaves increase your free fall with shift, which I'll show you in a minute. And the boots make you immune to fall damage. So there you go. It's kind of the background stuff that just most of the big like armor sets would do anyway. So uh, it's good that they do in this one as well. Now the offensive is where it gets quite cool. So the offensive side of it, let me uh, let me show you right now, shall we? So offensive, the main thing is if you hold uh, jump, then you actually fly like this. But you're not flying in a sense. You're uh, just kind of ascending because once you stop you'll uh, come straight back down to earth again once you let go of the space bar. Now the um, increased falling speed, if you push uh, shift, basically makes this happen. Whoop, there you go, so you drop right down to earth really, really quickly. So let's try it from up here and see how fun this is, shall we? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, oh that was amazing. <laughs> so there you go. So that's that. So you don't really have to worry about flying anymore, it just means you have to keep your kind of keep your finger on the space bar like so. And when you start coming down, you don't really fall very fast either, but you kind of just glide down like this. There we go. So there's that. Now let me get some monsters out and we're gonna show you the uh, next part of this. There we go, so night time. Let's get them all coming. Come on, where are you? There we go, there's, there's, a, there's the first fella. Now, you can do some cool things with this. For instance, if you hold down a shift while you're walking, uh, you, obviously you're going to start going slow, it actually repels enemies, so you can see he can't get anywhere near me. There we go, if I push it again, let go, and push it again, boom, he's pushed back again. And it actually slows him down as well. Now this is within a uh, five block radius, he can't go past this. And this is the same for uh, archers and all that, obviously they can fire at you, but the arrows will be repelled. Unless you're stood directly in front of them, because it doesn't slow down the movement of their arrows in any way. Uh, it just means that they uh, miss you pretty much every time. Let's try here. We've got one over here. It's got a little customer over here. So, for instance, you can see they're repelling off me. He can't touch me. It's easy. Uh, we need to get rid of this creeper, actually. Uh, let's get this creeper out of the way quickly. Back to my sword. There we go. Much better. Now, if I get right up close to him, and now push it. There you go. You can see he's still hitting me. Yeah. Now, if we move back a little bit. There you go, they jump right off me. So just bear that in mind, you can't stand right in front, otherwise it doesn't really seem to work too well. Now, another really cool thing you can do, which is a part of the offensive set of the armor, is you can call down bolts of lightning on, your, on your, all of your enemies. So by pushing R, you can do that, which is amazing. Check it out. Ah, oh. yeah, death. Oh, this is insane. Supercharge the creepers. <laughs> oh, I could do this for days. They're all up on there, letting the scenery and everything. Oh, did I just hit my house? No, 
But my coke oven's on fire. Oh no, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, we're good. Okay, got a little bit worried then. <laughs> now, another cool thing you can do with this as well, which is another part of it, is if you push C, you make an explosion. Like so. There we go. Let's check that out. Which makes a big old explosion. All sorts of havoc happens. Let's do it on a creeper. It's fun. Look, boom. There we go. Nothing. He ain't got a clue what hit him. I guess you could get them all to kind of come around you as well. Like so. Now hold down shift and they can't obviously get us. I'm waiting for them to get back here. And then... Ah, uh... oh, they're just outside the radius. There we go. I guess you could like properly go underground like this. Oh, look. Boom. Ha. <laughs> it's not even touching me. Wow. This is pretty yeah, cool. <laughs> Amazing. And I got a cactus. Good times. So, um, yeah, those are the main parts of it just there. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to do with the uh, with the uh, amazing uh, gemmed armor. I wouldn't class it as the best type of armor <clears throat> because it doesn't give you the same kind of invulnerability as the um, as all the other bits and bobs do. Especially the quantum suit. That is kind of the top dog for any of that sort of stuff. Definitely the best. Definitely the best. Um, but that's pretty much it. So that is in. That is the end of uh, equivalent exchange. We finished. There is not going to be any more equipment exchange anymore. We're going to move on to something fresh, something different. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be showing off a few uh, little parts of Tekkit that aren't really like sets, if you know what I mean. So we're going to look a little bit at force fields, and uh, we're going to look a little bit at computer craft, and then we're going to pick another big thing to get involved in, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all the equivalent exchange. I definitely have enjoyed the equivalent exchange. It's been fun. Look at it. Amazing. We've got all the cool stuff. We look all red. Oh, that's beautiful. And I've got a piece of cactus. I'm going to celebrate by planting my cactus. There we go. Celebration dance. <laughs> Alright guys. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Watch the rest of the videos and stuff. We'll be doing more Daisy. Uh, I might actually be moving on to the Lingle map on Daisy as well because I find it a bit fun. And if you guys enjoy this stuff with Heather then obviously get back to me and I'll kind of pull her out of her hole and she can do some more with us. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. It's been emotional. Have a good one. My name's Lewis. Bye bye.